We'd like to spend some time in this video uh, taking you through some of the operation options that are available in Kipware Conversational. Uh, these are the buttons that are located underneath uh, the tree. Uh, so basically uh, cycles that are created uh, automatically go into the tree and then you've got some options that you can do uh, as far as manipulating those options. So what I'm going to do is uh, use the first one on the left which is to load an oper operation. So this means that any operation that you've previously created uh, automatically goes into a folder and you can bring that back at any time and load it back into the tree. And this is really handy if you have uh, a part that's similar to an operation that's similar to an operation that you created maybe the other day or last month or last year. You can bring it in, you can open it up, you can make some changes to it, and you can create a completely new cycle. Uh, so I'm just going to go grab something that's in here. Uh, and we have uh, some things. Let's grab something. How about uh, just a facing, a facing program? And you can see that it's loaded in the tree. Uh, because it's the first operation, it's labeled operation number one. A couple things that I can do with it right from the tree is I can double click it and it's going to bring me back to the conversational screen where uh, originally all the original inputs are there. So I can make any changes here uh, and I can save it again and now I've created a new uh, cycle. Uh, but You'll notice in here that you can't change the name. Uh, when you edit the cycle, uh, that name is going to uh, remain there. If you wanted to do something uh, and make a completely uh, new cycle with a new name, what you could do is you can copy it using uh, this icon here. I'm just going to label it uh, copy so that we can uh, differentiate between the two. When I hit continue, uh, you can see now that uh, I have two cycles. Uh, obviously the name that you select here would be the uh, name that you wanted the operation to be. And again, if I double click it, uh, comes back into the screen. Uh, the name uh, is changed to the operation that I made it. So, so that's one thing that you can do is you can uh, very easily bring them in, uh, bring past operations in, you can edit them, uh, you, you can copy them. Uh, what you can do here is also we can edit the operation. So if I highlight facing and click this icon, uh, I'm going to do the same thing as if I double clicked it in the tree. Basically going to open it back up in the conversational page. If I want to see the G code for any of these cycles, I can highlight the cycle that I want and hit this icon here. And basically what we've got right here is a G code uh, that was created through that cycle. Uh, if you want to create a program really quickly, you don't want to uh, you want to copy and paste this into something else, or you don't want to have to go through creating the main program uh, feature within the software, you can do whatever you would like with this uh, with this file right here. This is the full G code program. And through the editor, you can save the file, uh, you can print the file, you can do all your editing uh, features right here. Uh, but basically, rather than looking at it in the conversational screen, which is done here, uh, I can look directly at the G code, uh, which is done here. A couple of other things that you can do is you can reorder operations. Let's say I want to take this uh, copy of operations and I want to make it operation number one. And basically, I'm just going to change places, but if you had a list of operations, uh, you could take this operation and put it uh, up here. You know, so you can reorder the operations using this icon here. If you want to remove an operation, you can just hit the delete button. Now, this is only going to remove the cycle from the tree. Uh, it's not going to remove it from the directory or the folder. Uh, the old cycle is still going to be there in the folder. You can bring it back at another date. It's just going to remove it from the tree that we're creating uh, right here. This icon is going to plot all the operations that you have in the tree. Uh, so it's going to create a uh, plotting file with everything that you have in the tree. Uh, this one is just going to plot the individual cycles that you highlight uh, within the tree. 